Okay, hello. So what we're going to do here is I am going to show you how I grow fodder and in five days. And what I'll end up with is five flats of fodder. So, and we're doing barley fodder today. So what I have here is a food grade five gallon bucket with a food grade lid that's waterproof. And a red solo cup, which is about approximately two cups of barley we're going to put in here and then we will fill that with water in just a minute but first I need to talk to you about these these are basically they're little flats you can get these at any nursery this part is the bottom you can get them for one or two dollars they last a long time you can duct tape them if they start to split like this one has this part is the one with the holes in the bottom and the nurseries just give these away by the dozens. I have, I don't know, maybe two dozen here. So after this soaks for 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, depending on how hot it is, after this soaks for 12 to 24 hours, then we put it into this flat. And that's it. That's all we have to do for today is soak this all barley. right so we've added water to the barley that's basically all you do you let that soak for 12 to 24 hours me i'm gonna let it soak for a little longer than 12 hours and in the morning we'll fetch it out of the bucket and put it in our flat and then you'll see what happens next all righty so it's been a little Mm, a little less than 24 hours. I probably waited a little bit too long to come back out here and drain out the barley, but here's what it looks like. It's increased in size a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it one-handed. And then put it in a basically doing this one handed. Hang on, let's see if I can do something different here. Okay. <laughs> here we have two cups of barley that we're gonna fill our flat with. Really easy to do. It may not look like it's filling it up all the way, but it really is because the barley will increase in size as it continues to grow more barley. Okay, so what I do is I just spread it out to an even layer. And now the next part is covering it. And we need to leave it covered for two days. But even while we've got it covered, we still need to water it. But covering it will allow it the time to grow a root system. So what I do is I just take another flat, cover it, and then leave it for a couple of days. So I'll go out and check it again in the morning, and um, I'll water it, see how the roots are growing. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do... my daughter so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to soak some more barley and we just continue doing this because every five days we'll have a flat that is ready to go full of barley and then the next day we'll have another flat ready to go and if you just wait the initial five days and keep doing this every single day then you'll have barley every day for your animals and you can make two flats a day, three flats a day, one flat a day, it doesn't matter. So this one we will cover with water and leave until tomorrow when we go and check our flat and water it. Alrighty, we are back and now we are ready to take a look and see how our barley sprouts are looking after one day. They're still gonna look like barley sprouts, I can guarantee you that, and yes they do. But they are a little parched, so what I'm going to do is make a mental note to water them 
earlier in the morning and then possibly again in the evening because it is starting to heat up so we just give them a little sprinkle here of course the lid I've moved my operations over to my seeds seed starting table now the lid will help keep the moisture in so there we go and now what we're going to do is we're going to get our second round of barley there it is it's been less than 24 hours again but almost I'm going to rinse this out Sure it's nice and wet. It doesn't matter if you still have water in there, it's all right because that gives it a little bit of moisture to last through the rest of the day. And I'm just going to smooth this out really fast. All Hang right, on. so that's how we look. Now, don't worry about any of the bare spaces or anything like that in there because that's all going to fill in, believe me, with barley in a few days. And these seeds will start even um, absorbing even more water and they will plump up and I'm going to go ahead and get my two cups of barley into my bucket to soak it again so that we'll have three also once you get used to this you'll soon be able to tell that basically once your barley is has the root system that you want you can take this cover off and you will see in probably one or two more days what the root system will look like once it's fully ready to have the cover taken off because then we can allow photosynthesis to work and when the sun shines on it it will turn bright green really fast i mean it happens so fast you can almost sit out here and watch it happen it's truly incredible all righty so we're back but we skipped a day because, well, I had company last night and I couldn't do any filming before it got dark out. So, here we are. It is now a day past. Let's see, we did day one, day two. This is day three. And I'm not too sure how well you can see this, but this has lots and lots of little root systems growing. You can see even some little green grassy parts. It's time to take the lid off. Look at that. That's the kind of root system that you want to see growing on this barley. So there you go. We're going to water this. Very lightly. You might see little white flies flying up off of here when you lift the lid. It's perfectly normal. It's okay, they aren't gonna hurt anything. So let's see how well this one is doing. Now see, this is only after two days, and this is what this one, what tray number one would have looked like yesterday. This here is how well we've got roots growing in tray number two. And this one, if you ask me, is also ready to have the lid taken off because now what will happen, now that the root systems have grown, photosynthesis will take over and all of the sprouts now will start turning green and turn into grass for your livestock. Now, the one reason that we wanna make barley fodder or grow barley fodder is because it has a good protein and calcium content for your livestock. Here's our third. Now, this is one that we just started, so it doesn't have anything yet, but tomorrow it should. So, we'll come back tomorrow. But before we come back, let's not forget to soak some more barley for another flat tomorrow. We'll have five by the time we're ready to feed tray number one to our livestock. So, you can keep rotating. You'll have a barley fodder tray every day and it only takes five six days to start off all right
right, here we are, back for another day, and look, if you can see that, that is our barley, that is tray number one from our first day, and tray number two is starting to sprout and get a little bit of green going on. Let's look at tray number three, that's still covered right now. And right now we don't have much going on, but by tomorrow there will be more. It looks a little dry, so I need to water it. I didn't water this morning because I was in a hurry, as usual. Just like I was in a hurry to get home, as usual. <laughs> so what we will do is we will water everything. We will get our barley that we soaked last night into another tray. And... Then we will wait another day and come back. Well, here we are. We are back and it is now considered day four. As um, we have got four trays going, so we know that we've been doing this for four days. Basically, check it out. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Four days. Look at all that growth. And here's tray two. And it's starting to turn green and everything else so we will look at our other trays now i stack my trays on top of each other when i start to run out of room which doesn't hurt a thing of course move these flowers out of the way because i got a whole bunch of stuff growing over here okay so this is tray three after three days now this tray is only one day old This tray I started yesterday and it doesn't have any roots yet. So this tray will go one more day because it's only just starting to develop some root systems. Now this tray here, my goose would have liked to have eaten this. Actually the chickens would love this too. At this stage, right now, all these roots will stick together and all you have to do is just kind of tear it out of the tray. But I prefer to let it get a little bit greener just because it the grass also holds a little bit more nutrients. Chickens and geese will eat the entire thing. Barley, roots, everything. Plus the little white flies that are flying around it. Rabbits prefer to get it a little bit more green than this. So I'm going to let this go another day or possibly two before I feed it to my chickens and rabbits. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, day, whatever day this is. I lost track. So here is our tray one. And it's actually ready to go. Tray one, tray two, it's got a little bit more to go. I'd say maybe one or two days. See, now the beauty in this is, is that you're gonna have a tray to feed your livestock every day or however many trays that you do at a time. I usually do one or two at a time. Let's take a look at some of our other trays here. Now this one's getting a good little root system going. I don't know if you can see that very well, but all of those are roots. And see all the little hairs on those? So this one is ready to have the lid taken off so that it can now photosynthesize and grow some grass. And every day we just keep adding another tray. We soak some barley every night when we water our barley. We empty it into a tray the following day either 12 to 24 hours later and uh, you just keep going and you feed one tray to your chickens or rabbits or geese or whatever you've got then you've got more trays on their way to back you up so let's give our chickens a treat I'm gonna feed this to them right now so as you can see this lifts right out of the tray you don't have to worry about putting the tray out there I used to put the tray out there with the chickens but they were ruining them but this comes right out. And so here we are. Here's all my little chickens. They're eating their barley treat. They love it. And by the way, barley, I buy my barley about $80 for, I'm sorry, 80 pounds for $20. And that works out to about, at two cups per flat, about 10 cents per flat is what this food cost me. It's a great supplement to their regular chicken feed. And they can eat probably two of these a day. I've got nine chickens here. 
and they really enjoy this. It'll all be gone in about 10 or 15 minutes, <laughs> which is why I like to give them two flats a day. And that's it.